So I was really struggling to try to get. People have no idea how difficult it is to do this shit. So I just failed miserably at trying to mount my deck lid with the aftermarket hinges I picked up from a guy on the ham. Um, no matter what I do, they're not gonna fit. The way they were cast or molded, they just weren't gonna fit no matter what I did. So I'm stopping there with that until I can get some aluminum and get the aluminum welded so I can make them each one solid piece and then hopefully they'll just mount right in with the pin. So on the pivot pin. So that being said, I'm kind of at a standstill with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this engine. What is it? It's a Volkswagen Beetle hood latch engine engine cover latch this car originally had this Volkswagen latch on the deck lid you see that center hole on the bottom of the latch there's also a center hole on the deck lid which I'll show you so you can see the center hole Let me pull this off so you can see that center hole right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this weather piece of weather stripping off and I'm gonna line up that hole and I'm gonna scribe it so I'll know where to make my mark so I can cut it. So you can see it here. Luckily this was in good enough shape where the, the weather stripping is still pliable. So you can take it, look how good it fits. It covers up the old holes perfectly, these two other holes. You can just barely see them. So I'm going to mark everything, scribe it out, and I'll hopefully know where to make my cuts. It should just be the square in the center. So I'm barely taking any material out. This mark here, this mark here, this across the top, and this little piece right there. So you can see where I have to cut here, across the top, down, and then just a little piece right here. And that hood button, or that hood catch, this should fit right in. This. That little notch on top here, that piece right there, you should lock in underneath the sheet metal and that one screw that's gonna mount there should hold it in. We shall see. So this is just a cheap little jigsaw from Harbor Freight.
so it fits with this little tab. The only way it can go in is if I notch this down further. Or if I notch this up a little bit. back on hole lined up and there we have it that should be it should be all she wrote I just gotta get the bolt that fits in there that's gonna be like that and that'll be nice and clean just the way George built it so I have to get a bolt that fits that thread and I'll get this mounted up hopefully just gonna find a bolt that mount that's that fits into this thread I got the right bolt. I'm just gonna make sure it's not too long. So I think that's a 1024. So I was really struggling to try to get, so I've been struggling to get the screw on. People have no idea how difficult it is to do this shit. And they bust your balls on YouTube saying how your videos suck and give you the thumbs down. It's not easy at all. Trying to keep a damn screw on the end of the screwdriver is impossible. And I don't have any sealant, but I had some plumber's putty. So I stuck a little bit of plumber's putty sealant from sealing up the threads on my air compressor. And it's just tacky enough, like me, it <sighs> so frustrating the lights fall the screw falls the screwdriver hits you in the face it's great it's in there it's screwed in it works so now all I have to do is when I build the floor I'll have to build some type of a I'll have to build some type of a catch where this latches onto, which is easy enough. So I think I'm gonna call it a night. I know it was I know it was a pretty small project, but after working on those hinges for a while and coming up short, it's nice to at least get something done. And I can't open the deck lid because I have it screwed shut with those sheet metal pieces so so that's cool that's on there 
that's how George did it. So I'm pretty happy about that. I really wanted to get that deck lid open and then closing tonight, but I guess that's just not reality. So I'm gonna put my tools away, come to my shop. Glad I saw that. Casualties of war, I suppose. So thanks for watching. I know there hasn't been much lately on the car. Um, I had to replace my air compressor. My other compressor crapped out on me. It was Labor Day weekend. So I went to Tractor Supply and bought myself a new 80 gallon 175 psi air compressor which is a huge upgrade from what i had i had a 60 gallon which seemed to cut off even though i think it was supposed to be 135 it was cutting off around 110 so i know there were some issues with it but eventually it just died when i was working on the other on my bigger shop i was running the airline from up here down out back and it just eventually stopped building pressure i still have it i'm gonna fix it hopefully it's nothing serious uh, as long as I can fix it, then I'll put it in the big shop out back and use that to run my Luva press and those other things that I need down there. But I'm locking up some things on the car. I got the frame horns cut. I couldn't sandblast them because I had no air compressor. Now that I have the compressor, I can sandblast the, the frame horns. I can get those welded onto the frame. And once those are on, I'm going to mount the radiator and get the grill shell set where it needs to be. So hopefully that'll be over the next couple of days. I'll be able to get those hinges figured out and then I can get that deck lid open and closing uh, and then it's the motor the motor's got to go in this thing motor and trans and once that's in then I can I can really start cranking out it them. should go pretty quick I hope I've done a few of them so I'm getting I'm one thing at a time I'm heading to Carlisle this year. I've always wanted to go. I'm holding my phone, so I apologize if it's bouncing. October, what is it? September 30th to October 4th is Carlisle this year, Carlisle Fall. I've never been to Carlisle. I've never been to any of the events or shows there. So this will be my first year. I'm gonna bring down a truck and trail load full of stuff to sell. I'm gonna use that money to fund the 34 build and then to grow my YouTube channel. So if anybody is going to Carlisle, please stop by. My spot is row IL, uh, spot number 27, I believe. So please feel free, stop by, introduce yourself. I'll have some stickers uh, that I'm getting made up at the moment. Um, I'd love to have some t-shirts made if i can i'm gonna call the company and see what their schedule is i don't know how they're affected by covid i know they were shut down a while ago at the beginning so i'm gonna see if the turnaround time is doable for them to get me some t-shirts to maybe bring down and sell also to fund the youtube and uh just to keep this going just i appreciate everybody that's following along that's subscribed that's commented that's liked the videos there's a couple of things i'm gonna bring down with me this is a fifth 1950 Pontiac. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it with a polishing wheel. I already started. I already did the lucite real quick. So that's a 1950. This is a 1951. This one's got some cracks or oh, not some cracks. I don't know what you call them in the lucite, but it's like little lines. But also I hit that also with the with the buffing real wheel real quick and uh it started to shine up so i've got a lot of stuff that i'm going to bring down with me hopefully sell like i said and be able to to build up some funds for uh for the 34 so i can order some parts over the winter and really keep this thing moving i'd love to be able to drive this thing in the spring and i don't really see this there should be no reason why i can't drive this car in the spring so that's my goal is to get this car on the road and drive it in the springtime and then go and see walter and take walter for a ride and brad barrows too and anybody else i can find that wants to go for a ride in it so thanks again have a good night